Hey y'all, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I made this double chocolate tart. But before I show you or tell you about it, I want to tell you why I made it. So me and a lot of my friends go to this place over in Roswell, Georgia. It's over near where my friend Leslie lives. And um, it's a little restaurant called Anna Lee's. And she's a European lady. Um, I could not sh tell you how she exactly spells her name, but she changed it to Anna Space Lee's. Um, because uh, it's pronounced that way over in Europe. So anyway, um, cute little place, great food. I always generally get the same thing, which is gazpacho and um, a quiche, whichever one sounds good that day, and a double chocolate tart. It is my favorite dessert, hands down, would choose it any day of the week. <clears throat> but we bought her cookbook one time. It was just a little like pamphlet more than a cookbook. And I just was so excited because I just knew it would be in there. It wasn't in there. I was so upset. Anyway, I've been wanting to try to duplicate her double chocolate tart forever. And <clears throat> I haven't been able to. So I'm going to just tell you kind of what I did here. So the first thing that you can do, and the good thing about this is you can use the microwave for a lot of it, is you would melt the butter and then add the um, chocolate with it. You would melt the semi chocolate and... Um, uh, you know, mix it up here and then you'll add all the ingredients to it. Now you'll see the eggs there. They needed to be room temperature or this warm chocolate could make them curdle if they were cold. So if you stay till the end, I'll show you the clever, clever, clever way that I warm those um, eggs up to room temperature. Now I can hear my mama saying, Christy Michelle. Um, so anyway, stay till the end and you'll see how I did that. Um, but anyway, I'm just mixing up the chocolate here. And in a minute, I'll um, add, uh, you know, whisk the eggs, add the chocolate to it, and then all the other ingredients, which are vanilla, instant coffee, a pinch of salt, and sugar. And it whips together so quick and easy. It, you know, it was really a, an easy um, tart to make. Um, I will say that <clears throat> when I tried the tart, I thought the ganache was a little too bittersweet for me. And um, I was disappointed because, you know, I wanted it to be exactly like hers on the first try. And, of course, that's never going to happen. Um, but I thought, you know what, next time I'm just going to do milk chocolate for the ganache. And yesterday when Heidi and Mike were here, they both tried it and were like, no, it's excellent. You shouldn't change a thing. And maybe that was just too much for me. The bitterness of the ganache was too much for me. <clears throat> so I said, well, next time I do it, I'll make, you know, the regular for everybody else. And for me, I'm going to have a milk chocolate ganache. <laughs> I doubt I'll do that. But anyway, um, it is a good recipe. And you'll see it does come together very easily. Um, I think it um, impresses well, just like the one at Annalise. Um, it looks like you've done a lot of work. And, you know, it just whips together so easily. And the fact that it's from a microwave. You know, a lot of these are um, done heated up from the microwave. It's just amazing. So, anyway, I'm going to let you watch this for a few minutes. And, again, don't forget to stay till the end so you can find the clever way to warm up eggs to room temperature.
I want to thank y'all for watching today, and uh, I will see you next time. And if you're new here, I hope you like and subscribe.